Hello and welcome to Minikun Tutorials. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to turn down or mute the volume of your Zoom audio without necessarily turning down or muting the volume of your entire PC or device. Okay, so currently, as you can see, I am participating in a Zoom conference or meeting. Miha, you can't hear anything from uh, uh, from the background you can't hear any noise how did i do that even though the volume is at 100 percent as you can see it's at 100 percent i just increase it to 100 percent meanwhile you cannot hear the speaker in the zoom conference his voice so for instance if i, I could even try playing music or doing something on youtube okay let me just show you an example so i'm just I just played a music I mean music on YouTube I could have been playing whatever that I want I could have been doing any other thing probably participating in another uh, uh, vid video what do you call it another video call with let's say for instance um, uh, uh, Microsoft Teams for instance or any other let's say Webex or any other form of let's say uh, any other f f form of let's say uh, um, app you know I could have participated in another webinar or any other thing you know separately or as I'm, as I'm telling you I'm just playing music or I'm, I'm doing something on my PC however the sound the, the, I mean the, the you however my zoom is actually muted completely i could have also instead of let's say muting my zoom audio or sound completely i could have also let's say reduce it to some extent so while the, the the person is speaking in the zoom presentation or meeting i could lower the volume to some extent in such a way that uh you know it will just remain at that particular point even if when i or even when i increase the volume of my pc it would not affect, let's say, the volume of my uh, Zoom. Sorry, it, yeah, it will not increase the volume of my Zoom uh, audio. So how do we do that? Okay, now to do this is very simple. Okay, let me show you how I did it anyway. So as you can see, uh, the sound of uh, I just increase the volume once again to hundred percent. Meanwhile, you cannot hear any noise from Zoom, okay? So, and I also played music or listened to a, a particular video on YouTube or do any other thing. However, my Zoom audio is independent of my entire PC's audio. So, how do we do that? Now, to do this is very simple. You simply come and click on, you, you, you come and click on, on your tax bar okay you come to your tax bar of your pc and come and click on it depends on how the kind of the version of your windows and also the um, the kind of device you are using probably if you are using apple it will not be the same okay i mean it will be the same it's the same format just that probably the uh, how to locate the um, i mean the let me show you how to locate the speaker icon of your PC might be hidden, okay? Might be hidden. It, it might be hidden somewhere depending on your device. Are you using Apple? Are you using, even if it's Windows, which version of Windows? So currently I'm using Windows 10 and um, to access the, what do you call it? The speaker, the, your computer speaker, you sim simply click on this uh, drop down menu here this particular arrow and you see something like show hidden icons okay now when i click here i have or let's say some other active uh i some some hidden icons okay now among these icons is what the speaker of my computer so if i should right click on it so like I told you, depending on your device, you could look for this particular icon anywhere at all. So never mind. Okay. 
make sure it's, it's not as safe. Uh, so if you are watching this video, don't um, don't get troubled if you realize if you if if you realize that okay, uh, to if you are finding it difficult to access your your PC uh, speaker icon, okay, just if you don't even know, you could search on YouTube or wherever else and try to find out how to access the volume icon of my PC. Let's say Windows 10, Windows 7, or let's say of my MacBook, whatever, so that you can also locate this particular volume icon like I have located it in my case. I'm using Windows 10 and on my PC to access the volume icon, I simply have to come to the tax bar and come and click on show hidden icons here and I have it here. Now, whichever way you would pass through to get to this icon, just do that, okay? And now, when you get to this particular icon, just simply right click on it. So when you right click on it, you have several options displayed, okay? You have what? Open sound settings, open volume mix, mixer, special sound, sounds, and troubleshoot and uh, troubleshoot sound problems. You see, so we have several options. And among all these options, you're going to make sure you come and click on uh, Open Volume Mixer. So you click on Open Volume Mixer, and then it displays this particular dialog box. Now, over here, you'll have what? Several applications. Let's say audios of several applications. Okay. And now, um, you have the possibility of turning down or muting in this case you see that i muted completely the volume of my zoom meeting or my zoom app you can see clearly that it's totally muted so the zoom meeting as you can see is actually totally muted this is how come even when i was playing music on uh, let's say uh, youtube or whatever I could have been Playing even on my Windows Media Player, whatever, it does not affect the sound of my what Zoom meeting. So my Zoom meeting was totally down, or my Zoom meeting sound was not loud enough to interfere with whatever that I'm doing. So why is this so important? Sometimes you might be, let's say, uh, you, you might be participating in a Zoom meeting. Meanwhile, you want to lower it down. To be able to do something else, or you might be participating in several. For now, you are a candidate, you are a student, you, you or let's say, let's let's take that you are a candidate. You are looking for, or you are a job seeker. You've applied for several meetings. So I don't. Let me just. I let me not waste my time trying to create a scenario. But in simple terms, whatever the circumstance might be, let's say you are participating. <laughs> if you are a student, you are participating in a very boring um, a lecture. Okay. And uh, probably you want to, you or sim not that the, the lecture may even be boring, but you just feel like, okay, I might want to do some other important things on my PC, however, uh, which would in involve, let's say, listening to something else just for a few minutes. But because your audio is uh, turned, your, I mean, because. Um, your Zoom meeting is actually active, you know, and the volume is not muted uh, separately from your entire PC or device volume. Then anytime you might try to decrease the volume of your PC and that decreases the volume of, uh, sorry, and that decreases the volume of all applications. So for instance, where we are right now, let me unmute it. So if I just click here. This you could hear clearly when I unmuted it. You could hear clearly the sound of what the the person speaking. Okay, so now what's the problem? If I should mute, if I should unmute it. Okay, so let me unmute it. Now I've unmuted it. And if I should come to YouTube again or wherever to play this particular audio.
Hey, have you ever wanted to take a dive into the deepest parts of the ocean? Well, today. So you see? You, you can see that the, the, the two sounds are interacting. Now, let me show you something. Hey, you've been in this opportunity. Now, how good are you at holding your breath? When I decrease the volume, the volume not of my good? lung and well, that not to worry. Hop aboard the YouTube, for instance, video, both decrease. So, uh, how, how am I going to manage that? Okay, if I should try increasing. My submersible craft and journey in a voyage to the depths. You can both have increased. Which one should I listen to? But I may want to shut down one of them so that I can listen to the other. Maybe I want to shut down the zoom so that I can be able to uh, do other stuff just for a few minutes. That's exactly what I'm trying to show you. So if you want to separate your volume, let me show you something. If you want to separate the volume of your Zoom routine from that of your PC, this is what you have to do. You simply come once again, locate your uh, PC, volume, you right click on it, you can come and click on uh, open volume mixer. And now you have the possibility, so initially, Initial or let's say currently I've muted it completely. But instead of muting it completely, you could also increase it to some extent or lower it to some extent if you want. So for instance, so you see that I just lowered the volume of my Zoom meeting. Meanwhile, you know, so the piece is at its topmost volume. However, I can lower the volume of my Zoom meeting. Now, if I should be playing, ready? Cool. So you see that, okay, that's up to you. you. You could choose to lower the volume of your Zoom meeting so that you will not interfere that much with your other uh, media or you could just uh, mute it completely so to mute it completely here's actually the thing, the audio or the volume mixer here icon here on your tax bar after i open it so to mute it completely i simply sorry sorry for that so to mute it completely, simply click on the audio icon here, and it's muted. Now, let's dive. You can concentrate on whatever other audio that you or video that you are watching. And if you would want to turn it on at any time, you simply come and click on look locate your um, speaker PC speaker. Right click on it, click on open uh, volume mixer. And then turn it on. If you want to increase it, you increase it. Thank you so much for watching. And this is how we can. Thank you so much for watching. And this is how we can uh, mute or lower the volume of your Zoom meeting without muting that of your PC. Okay. Please subscribe.